Hi, I'm Gabe. Hi, I'm Matt. He's my dad and I'm his son. Welcome back to WKD TV. We really hope that you're enjoying all the episodes. On this episode, we have our new TikTok challenge. Don't forget to send us your footage of your TikTok challenge for a chance to win £10 Amazon gift card. Father vs Son FIFA Drill Madness. We'll also be hearing from Karma Khan with a faith reflection later on. We're going to have a break for one week next week. And we will return on April the 30th for season two of WKD TV. So we'll see you later in a bit. Hi everybody, welcome back to our new challenge. It's an exciting challenge this week. <laughs> it's an excellent challenge this week. <laughs> See what I did? It's an egg challenge. We've got 12 eggs and eight of them are hard boiled. Four of them are soft and we're gonna crack them on each other's heads. Egg. If you might notice, this is the second take because I messed up on the camera. This is what we do for you guys. This is what we do. You know. You're not showing a good example of, sh Ooh, of filming. Nice one. Exactly. Yeah, you know, uh, exactly. <laughs> Stop it. Sorry. Oh no, please help me. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get on. We've got 12 numbers here, 12 numbers on the X. Are you ready, Gabe? Yes. It's two one Who's to me at the moment. I'm in the lead. This is to get Gabe level or to me to take an extra lead. Come on, let's do okay. this thing. Uh, do I think I'm losing, so I'll go first. You can go first. Yes. So, so first number is? First number is four. Number four. See, last time I did it really hard. And like... He's cut my head. I've cut his head. So I'm not going to do it as hard this time. Let's do this. No, do it as hard as you want. Aye! No, not that. <laughs> I'm only joking. Hard boiled. Uh, uh, yeah, it was you put... Here we go. Next number. Oh, seven. 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 Here we go. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Hard boiled. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Oh, that, oh that, 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 uh, ten. <laughs> Number ten. Here we go. Nil, nil at the time. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nil, nil. Nil, nil. I think we should just squeeze them. No. no Crack them on the head. It's more fun. It hurts. It's more fun. Uh, it's number six. Oh no. Oh, here we go. Is this it? <laughs> Is this one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one nil. Oh, one nil. Go on, game. One nil. Game's had a shower and everything. This is his second go. Oh, get go. it off. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, one nil. <laughs> uh, three. Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay, quick. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're putting oh, it back in. It was you, it wasn't Beth. <laughs> Number 11. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> two one. Two one, go again. Okay. Oh, oh. flipping it. Two one. <laughs> uh, two. Number two. Oh, no, this is, this is hard boiled, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, hard boiled. Here we go. Next one. Number eight. Hard boil. Oh. What's the score? Uh, two one to you. Two one to me. Yeah. Okay. Number uh, nine. Nine. Okay. Nice. Hard boiled. I reckon. Yeah. Hard boiled. <laughs> hard boil. Oh, number boy. nine. Oh no. Number one, baby. Oh no. Don't worry, Gabe. Okay. Hard boiled. Hard boiled. <laughs> oh no. 12. Number twelve. This is two one. Oh, it's hard boiled. Hard boiled. Oh, no. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't, don't, please. Oh. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Oh, can I Number do it on myself? Five, sank. Oh. Let me do it myself. I'll do it on me if you want. No, no. Yay! Three, one, three, one. Yeah, I do lost it last again. time as well. Oh. <laughs> the games of luck you're really not good at. Three, one. See you next time. Send us some photos, send us some footage for an excellent time in lockdown. Three, one. Get in.
So, it's day 16 or something like that. Feels like forever of lockdown. How many more episodes of Netflix can I watch today? What about BBC iPlayer? Or maybe Amazon Prime? Even subscribe to the Disney Channel? But what more can I do? Or maybe I can just roll over and have another sleep. So much time, so little to do. Is that, is that what lockdown's like for you? Or have your mum and dad got you doing loads of chores? Or have your school been sending loads of work back for you? I have no idea. I'm finding it's a mixture of restful and a mixture of busy. Depends uh, uh, on, on the day. Been asked to do a short, short devotion. And I just thought, well, what is there? What, what, what is the message for during uh, lockdown? Is uh, lockdown a challenge to be endured? To just make the time pass and get it out of the way as fast as possible? Or is it an opportunity? How could it be an opportunity? Well, I'm going to have a look at a few things and then think about that. You see, Ephesians says, Be careful then how you live. Don't live as the fools, but live as the wise. Make the most of every opportunity. That's in chapter 5 of Ephesians. So what does this mean? And what is this opportunity that we have today? What opportunity has coronavirus given us? What opportunity has lockdown given us? What does Ephesians mean when we relate that verse to today? Well, we're going to explore a few different options and you can uh, see what ideas you can come up with uh, yourself. Does it mean to make the most of the opportunity to learn that musical instrument that you've been meaning to learn for ages? <laughs> Does it mean uh, actually making use of the one hour a day uh, of exercise that we're allowed to go out and do? Maybe that's uh, one hour a day more uh, than what most of us have been doing and it's a chance to get fit. Is that what Ephesians mean? Make the most of an opportunity to get back in shape. Or maybe it means getting that dog or that animal or that pet that you've been wanting for ages. Here's our new addition to the family. She's called Nala. Maybe it means learning how to plant seeds in the garden or how to cook from your mum or dad or any number of things. But what does it mean in the Bible passage? What was Paul meaning when he wrote those words? Well, he was meaning that every single stage in life for every human being, whether they were born 2000 years ago when he first wrote it, or whether they're born now in the midst of this new paradigm for humanity of a global pandemic where we're all connected and we're all aware and we're all isolated and we're all locked down in an age where we thought we had so much freedom and we thought we had so many choices. The passage is still relevant today in different ways to the way in which it was back then, but the same principles travelling through history to be applied by Christians of every generation, including you. This season is an opportunity. So yeah, it might be frustrating. There might be things that you want to do that you can't do. There might be things that uh, are just really driving you, uh, you crazy. You might be sick of ne uh, Netflix by now. You might be sick of uh, being in the same room with the same people, the same uh, all of the time. I don't know, but it's an opportunity. And what Paul was meaning when he wrote to that church in Ephesus all those years ago was make the most of the opportunity to show Jesus in the situations which you're in. So what opportunities do you have? Perhaps you want to put a note through the door of uh, all of your neighbours saying, hey, I'll run errands for you if you're in lockdown. I don't mind helping out uh, if you're in need. Something simple like that. Maybe you've got a musical talent and you're just going to say, hey, at half past seven on Thursday, uh, the next time there's going to be the big clap for the NHS and all the key workers, I'm going to do uh, a concert, some live music on the doorstep. I'm going to take out my guitar, I'm going to take out my piano, I'm going to take out my drum kit and I'm just going to do a live music set. Maybe you want to deliver popcorn to, to your neighbours and say, come out on the doorstep, listen to the live music, and then we'll all clap the NHS together. I don't know. There are loads of ideas. Is there an older person who perhaps isn't digitally connect connected, so they haven't been able to, uh, to watch any of the online church services on a Sunday? And you know they'd love to see what your church has been doing. 
well, why don't you just deliver them uh, a, a, a laptop and shout through the, uh, the window? That's what I'm going to try and do for my gran this afternoon. Just shout through through the window the instructions. Press that button, press that button, and let them watch it. I don't know. I don't want to limit you uh, by you just copying my ideas. You, you think about your neighbourhood. You think about your family, your friends, your connections, your gifts, your skills. But Paul says to each generation, so God says to every generation, make the most of every opportunity that you have. Yes, these are challenging times, but there are opportunities as well. Let's make the most of them. Are you ready, Gabe? Yeah, wait. Are you ready? You're going first. You're going first. I'm going first. Yeah? Okay. Gabe's going to go first. I'm going to get into place. See you in a minute. I'm going to win this one, baby. Two, one. Go the wrong way. I know. I do it every time. Go on, Gabe. Go on, Gabe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, where's another one, Ken? Come on, Gabe! Oh, save. I can And it's last one. <laughs> one goal to Gabe, one point. My turn now, FIFA Drill Challenge. Here we go. Ready, Gabe? Oh, 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 <laughs> He's a good... Oh, oh yeah! yeah. No. One point! <laughs> that was a terrible pass! Oh! oh. One nil! Yeah, yeah, well wide. <laughs> One. Oh. Onto the bottle challenge. And we're back. One. Oh. Some good shots there. This is going to be close. So we're going to. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <Down>. <laughs> One, go. Oh, it was oh, a goal! Steve. It was a goal! Done there. That was a good shot. Oh! oh. I'm too hot. Oh, over, over. With me lucky top. No. This is it for the win. Please. Woo! Oh, <laughs> oh great ah. save, Keith. Straight down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> These are good pens. He's gonna. Be to that side! Yes! <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! Oh, he's coming! Oh, he's coming! Four folks coming home! Yes! Dizzy challenge. Winner takes all. Go! One, two, three, don't close your eyes! Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty! Some fiddler on the pitch, they think it's all over! It is now! It's four! No! No! Winston Churchill! Maggie Thatcher! No! Oh, I no! Oh, I can't even walk <clears throat> Absolutely destroyed. Wash your hands, they say.